What are worldviews? Let's begin to answer that question by using our imagination. Suppose you're at a demonstration about climate change or human rights, for example. You might see all kinds of people there with many different motivations or convictions. Perhaps some people there are from a religious organisation, a mosque, synagogue or church. They might be there because their particular beliefs about the world are driven by religious ideas, perhaps by a particular religious text. You look around and see that others, equally passionate about the demonstration, are not obviously religious at all. Perhaps they're holding banners which display a loyalty to a particular political party, charity or identity. Or perhaps they are even clearly non-religious. A flag saying humanists for change, for example. Most likely, it won't be clear whether individuals are protesting for religious or non-religious reasons. In fact, as you talk to the individuals protesting, you realise they are there because of a combination of personal conviction, loyalties, life experiences and beliefs which are too complex to reduce to one simple thing. Complexify this further and you might find that there are people opposing the demonstration who are from the same religious or non-religious traditions, groups or communities, but have completely different views about the issue. Might we say that in some ways this imaginary scene is representative of the complexity of beliefs and practices in real life? People can hold ideas about the world, worldviews, which are significant whether they are religious or not. We see them all in both private and civic life. These sets of ideas, say Christianity or socialism, might at first seem homogenous, but are rarely so. Equally, we tend to find that many of our ideas and practices are highly individualised. We each have a view of the world, and this deserves to be taken seriously. We call the study of all of this worldviews. If you enjoyed this clip, feel free to follow the links on screen for more interesting articles and free courses from the Open University.